Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we're gonna be going over our monthly final games. So guys, it is the first monthly final of the year. Super important because there is a MSI this season, so uh, you definitely want to do good. Uh, the first three months are very important. I mean, every month is obviously really important, but uh, yeah, emphasis on the first month in my opinion. So uh, we did manage to win our first round against uh, Vatra. They played pretty good. It was a uh, 2-1, pretty close. And uh, yeah, then now we're playing Tribe in the semifinals. So we're just gonna go over those games and uh, we're gonna get right into it. So we're starting on double swoosh. All right guys, game number one. So uh, kind of uh, the bands were, I think we banned Mr. P and I forget what they banned. Um, but yeah, anyways, we kind of thought that they would ban Crow so uh we left crow and gene open and we were hoping to get uh gene like first pick with mr p ban but uh they didn't end up banning crow so we're pretty happy with our crow pick as well uh the mids are just pretty limited so we actually went for the dog mid um and you can see i think it's pretty decent it's got like decent range and it's not like this is a super like pokey map it's like more like hop out the grass like surprise people uh, and yeah, if you guys have ever played this map, you know it's not like a ton of poke. That's why you can't really play a ton of mids here. So uh, you got to be careful. And Gene is just like a threat here. <laughs> so you got to play something that's decent into Gene if they have it. That's why we were thinking Mr. P. Toonie is going to go in there and get taken out right away. A little unfortunate. And then Bobby does get pulled with two gems. So we're after a really good start. But uh, just like that, they tie the gem lead up. Uh, we also did lose a treat on Bobby there. <clears throat> Bobby's gonna get a really nice crow jump in though and uh, just take out his levy so he is gonna slow both of them but unfortunately they're just like out of range none of us can really hit them there so uh, kind of a waste of a slow in my opinion it, it's like always tempting because he hit two of them so obviously you want a double slow but there's just not any follow-up when they're uh, that far out of range so pretty even they definitely uh, they have more of a poke comp, but I think we can burst them down really well. And uh, you can see me, I'm just like trying to bait out Zulin's pull. So I know he's like flashing it and trying to bait me to use my bags because I think I have two left and stuff. So I'm just going to hang on to them until sometimes I'll drop it if I think I'm too close to like react properly because I don't really have the best ping guys. I play on like 50 ping to my own server, which isn't horrible, but you know, if we're on another server, I have really high ping. Um, and yeah, it is gonna be nine to nine. I'll two tap Tyrant and I'll get Bobby another power up. And yeah, we're gonna get countdown here as well. But I think Bobby overextends and I think he gets ran down by his levy maybe. Um, let's see. So they're gonna tie it up and uh, gem spawns are just one per side. Yeah, Bobby's gonna go down and uh, it's a little unfortunate because every time he does go down we lose a treat uh, the dog super we call them treats and uh, Yeah, Toonie hasn't really gotten one yet because Bobby's going through them so fast <laughs> So uh, yeah, it is gonna be pretty even though and we get Zuland relatively low I'm gonna get Bobby another treat. I think that's his third or fourth But uh, he's gonna go down before he picks it up. So it'll be there when he spawns back in uh, now we do need one more and we can win so Tony's gonna pick up a super there super out dodge the uh, the gene pull really well played But uh, we got to kill tyrant here and so unfortunate He lives with 26 HP to get his super off and uh, that's gonna get them the reset So they can actually tie it now, but they're all really low So they are backing up and uh, the next gem swan is ours now unfortunately Bobby does not check the bush and uh Tyrant takes him very low, and I think he just kills him actually, yeah. So Tyrant's gonna take him down, and that's gonna enable the spike to kind of push up. And uh, me and Toonie are just pinched really hard, and you can see the spike actually connects with his shot there and takes him out, he got the kill. Uh, so pretty unfortunate there, and uh, yeah. Really close to picking up all 15 gems too. All right guys, game number two. So personally, I think we should probably switch lanes and uh, looking back at it, I think I should just baby Toonie's lane at the start to help him get in the grass. So, um, you know, I do want gems too. I can't overextend too much. Now I think Bobby should probably maybe solo slow him there. Uh, but fortunately Toonie is gonna go down there. Tyron's gone through two cactuses, but he has like complete control. So both of my lanes are kind of losing. And uh, yeah, Tyrant's gonna get a really nice spike super there as well. I think that charges most of it back because it got so much value. 
So yeah, he'll get his super right back and they are just uh, doing a very good job at not letting our lanes play the game really. I mean, if I if, there are, if our lanes can't play the game, like I can't either. You guys can see like I'm playing dog mid. It's like a support brawler, right? So uh, we're gonna need some magic to happen at this point. And uh, Toonie is gonna be getting close to his super though and Tyrant is out of bags. So I realize like it's not going too good. I kind of try going for an aggro play, but uh, yeah, unfortunately I do miss one of my shots and I will get taken out, but Toonie is gonna pick up his super there as well. So uh, he's gonna go on Tyrant and take him out. Zulan's gonna pull. Now I actually didn't know Zulan pulled there. Um, it's off my screen and I think I like, like heard it in the VC because otherwise I play really aggro here. Um, and honestly, I should probably just sacrifice that treat and throw it like on their lane to break. But uh, yeah, Toonie almost takes out one of them there, but they're gonna get the gem spawn. <sighs> And uh, yeah, we have to get like a reset here. Now we do have a really good comp for getting resets. If I get my super uh, and Toonie gets his, it's really possible. So I'll dodge the gene pull there as well. And we get them in the corner. Unfortunately, Toonie does miss his Fang super. So uh, yeah, we would've got him, uh, but I don't know. It's gonna be hard even after that. But uh, yeah, we would've got the reset if we had like one more second, I think. All right, guys, set number two is Dueling Beetles. So how this draft went, I'm going to try. I'm really bad at doing this. There's a lot of drafts. Uh, okay, so I want to say the bands, we banned Spike, and I think they banned, I want to say Dog. Or no, it might have been vice versa. We banned Dog, they banned Spike. It was something like that. But uh, anyways, so we first picked Spike, and then they went Bell no i mean sprout okay i'm just gonna stop with the draft anyways <laughs> you can see uh i get his levy really low now this matchup like everyone counters me so it kind of sucks for me and unfortunately i'm marked there if not i kill zulan and i think i can just stay alive there and drop my tornado but uh yeah unfortunately i don't think i can do a lot given the circumstances but our sprout should have a really good time i think into Mr. P and uh, yeah, Crow, it's not the best matchups for Crow either, but Crow, like, you just gotta get your jump and slow them too. And that's like, you only play Crow, guys, for the slow, right? So, uh, yeah, you can definitely always get value out of Crow, I find, unless they're playing like triple thrower or something. Um, but yeah, anyways, I do wanna be on the Mr. P matchup, I think, and I troll so hard right here. I'm at like the tip of the hitbox like three times in a row. And usually I'm pretty good at dodging it. I was just like, I thought I was dodging it perfectly, but I was just like one tile, like point one tile off. So I get hit a bunch there, but we're in a lot of time in the zone. And uh, yeah, as Levy, he kind of has like very, like not a lot of people can challenge him besides the Sprout, I think. Like, I think Bell is very good into our comp. Uh, besides the Sprout, of course. But uh, yeah, so we do actually have a really big lead. So I'm sure we're like losing horribly in deaths, but luckily it's not bounty. It's uh, hold the zone. And the issue with their comp for me is they don't really have anyone like tanky to hold the zone. So they have to hold control. Otherwise, like it's really hard for them to get time in the zone because they're also squishy, right? Um, so we actually have a really strong first game there. All right, guys, game number two. Um, yeah, so we want to do the same thing, pretty much. Uh, I mean, my lane, you guys can just see, it's like three tiles and just Bell shooting down, so it's kind of painful for me. Um, but I think, like, we already have, like, a pretty decent lead, so I think we run it down a little too hard, though, here. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we don't want to give them control, so I'm just trying to stay alive, stall time. Uh, but I will put my gadget out and I definitely could have put my gadget out more last game But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put my gadget out and just block the right side So Bobby can just kind of peg and shoot mid and uh, We kind of just want to rotate like where we put our gadget and sprout supers But the issue with our start is we gave them penguins right away pretty much So I'm gonna go down. I'll take out the penguin and I'll put my gadget mid so you can see even though we're dead they're not getting any time in the zone and the Gale Gadget is really good for that, and same with the Sprout Wall. That's why we put such high priority on Sprout. And we want Gale, because if we don't, they can go Fang or something. So we really need to make some plays happen here. 
but you can see it's like very difficult like we gotta coordinate really well and uh, Bobby is gonna go down so Tooney is gonna manage to get in the mid sort of but we want to time this really well and I will take out Zulan so I'm just kind of in an awkward position uh, now they did manage to tie it up and I would have supered his levy there if I had one more second but unfortunately I didn't and uh, yeah Tooney's gonna jump in and take his levy out now we're getting some time in the zone here <clears throat> as long as we can hold and not let them like just spawn trap us because if they spawn trap us it's very hard with their comp we're not like all really tanky like and they just pinch us out kind of as you guys can see right now so we do get pretty close 73 to 53 percent and uh yeah unfortunately bobby just kind of goes up and suicides there and tuny dies at the same time as well so now like we can't go up one at a time i think that was probably one of the reasons why we lost uh oh no spoiler but uh, yeah, you can see they're just focusing really well and pinching together as well. Toonie is going to get a slow off, but uh, yeah, unfortunately my super doesn't hit them on the wall and they're going to take game number two. All right guys, game number three. So yeah, I'm in my painful lane. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, I don't know. Bobby just kind of runs it down and they're going to get penguins really early. We do get a lead, but like... I don't think that's really worth it, so I'm doing my best to stay alive. As long as he's gonna hit some nice shots. Gets the trap out too, that's a nice play. Gets the kill on Toonie. Um, <clears throat> but you can see like, less than 30 seconds in, they have penguins already. So that's definitely not ideal for us. And uh, Toonie, it's not really the best slow. Like, I think we wanted to use our gadgets earlier, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like, <clears throat> it's kind of a waste of a slow there. And, uh, yeah, now they have penguins and our lead just kind of vanishes, right? <laughs> so that's the thing. I think we need to, like, just play it slower at the start before they get other things. So I'm going to get some good shots on his levy. Uh, now, I know I can't really super and follow up there because I'd probably die. And my super is really useless if we don't get a kill off it. Like, it's very hard for me to get in this matchup. Bobby's going to hit some good shots on his levy, though, and take him out. And, uh... It's looking pretty good for us right now, so I would love to have the Mr. P. It's definitely not like a favorite lane for the Gale, but you can dodge the Mr. P shots earlier, so me and Bobby kind of miscommunicate there. I was going for the super on Zulan, and uh, he walled it off at the same time, so a little unfortunate, and yeah, we do have a pretty big lead, but <clears throat> it's kind of the spawn trapping thing I've been talking about, right? So we don't have a really good way. So let me hit some good shots on me. I mean, I should be dodging some of these too, to be fair. But uh, he's keeping me low. And uh, I think like we just got to coordinate and go in at the same time. Get a slow off. So Toonie's going to get a nice slow there. I'll kill his levy. And uh, Bobby takes out Zulin as well. Now, unfortunately, those mines... Tyrant, that's a really heads up play from Tyrant to just shoot at me instead of Bobby. Um, because otherwise I think we win this game honestly like if I get through and I get to drop my tornado in the right place I do think we win this game so Tyrant probably just saved the game for them there uh, and yeah unfortunately you can just see like we're all going down one by one get it really close but uh, yeah Toonie's gonna jump in but just not enough damage at this point and it was really close but we did manage to lose unfortunately alright guys so uh, set number three bounty uh, so how the draft went, I remember this one. Uh, we banned Tick, they banned something, I don't know. And then we first pick Sprout, they pick Byron and Fang, and we pick Gale and Piper, and they pick Mortis. So I do think they have the comp, like I know Gale's good into it, but I also think if they went Ash, I think we just like auto lose pretty much. I don't really like the piper pick and like i said that like i was like are we sure piper's like enough to deal with tanks and i don't think it is like i think we kind of got bailed out because they went mortis instead of ash if they go ash i think we just kind of auto lose but uh i mean i still do think they have comp kind of we have to play it really well um so i'm gonna protect toonie there and toonie's gonna hit two really good shots there otherwise uh i think he's gonna get taken out um, but really well played from me and Dooney there. And 
<clears throat> so, honestly, until this match, I thought Gale Gadget cancelled Fang Super, but I realized later on that it doesn't. Um, but yeah, we're super backed up right now, and you know, their comp is kind of like all in. Like, you have to play like just really aggro. Now, we do take out Mortis and a Super Tyrant away just uh barely surviving again like i'm getting kind of lucky honestly i lived at like 90 hp and i'm like 400 like get hit by like one of his shoes there just you know it's uh tied up pretty much besides blue star so they are pushing us back 20 seconds left bobby just misses that second shot on his levy kind of unlucky um and tuny's gonna get as well so that's gonna make things really easy but Bobby lives on 3 HP with the blue star. He gets taken out there. I'm going to get a good super on his levy and uh, take him out. So, yeah, definitely a really close one again. Um, Could have gone either way. So, uh, yeah, we do want to play more aggro. We want a blue star. I didn't want to get tapped out, though, and I also like, don't want to let uh, the sprout just go on Toonie. So we're going to get a nice kill there. I don't think Zulang got any hits, really, or maybe he did. I don't know. I'm tired. Um, but Bobby's gonna live on 90 HP too. It's funny how some of these interactions work with these uh, low HP brawlers. But uh, yeah, we do have a little lead so far, and it's not the wall. I think there is a wall placement where you can trap the whole thing. So one thing about Fang, you can see Tyrant doing it to me there. It's really good at like peak shotting, and uh, they're gonna go in at the same time. So I will pop my gadget. I'm gonna get taken out, but uh, Tyrant can't get out either. So we do have the lead until Islevi hits a really good shot and he's just like out of my range. Uh, you can see the last one does catch him, but uh, it's very close, a little unlucky. And honestly, I'd rather like this where we kind of play into them and Tyrant's going to go in. I'm going to catch both of uh, the Fang and the Mortis there with the Gale stun. And yeah, we're going to get our lead back just like that. So Zulin did kind of get caught out there. Uh, but his levy's getting me really low and I live at 90 HP so I gotta stay up here otherwise we lose our lead so I'm just doing my best to stay alive. Uh, his levy is gonna hit me though and Bobby's gonna go down. Zulang gets a really nice chain of uh, bats there and uh, yeah I mean like I said earlier I really don't mind playing into them because I feel like I can get some good supers off and uh, Bobby can hit a shot or two so Bobby's gonna hit really nice shot there as well. Someone probably could have blocked for him, maybe, but it's all like it's hard in the moment, you know. So I have two gadgets left, so I know they're going to be coming through that choke point, and I'm just going to drop one preemptively so I have the second one back up. And that gadget's actually going to be really good. It knocks them both up once or twice, and uh, yeah, then we're just going to manage to get a kill and take the dub and bounty. All right, guys, so we are on to the final map. Uh, oh, sorry, we are on to Brawl Ball, um, and. Yeah, honestly, like, in retrospect, Lola kind of owns Max, and I don't think we got a ton of value on the Gale, so we did first pick Gale here, and uh, we last picked Fang. Definitely could have gone with a different last pick too, maybe, I think, but I don't know, like, it was hard because we lost position so fast, and, like, I don't know. You can just see, like, we're trying to push up, we have the max speed, and they just do a really good job keeping us back. Bobby's gonna go down, or Toonie's gonna go down, and uh, yeah, like I don't even get a chance to get my super yet. Like I think I'm like one hit from it, but we're just getting so backed up that like, so he's gonna use a nice little gadget on me, get a super, and uh, yeah, we are just getting like destroyed this game. Um, so, quick game. <laughs> Alright guys, game number two, um, so yeah, we are going to try switching off the start here, uh, just because I'm tankier, I can deal with the Byron, but they're going to just like, they get mid prio, and uh, yeah, they just walk right in there, get the switch back, and there's not much we can do at this point, like we have to just make something happen, you know, uh, so Tony's going to go aggro, and he's going to go in, and Tyrant's going to do a nice use of his super there. I am going to get the ball out. I think otherwise we do get scored on there. So unfortunately my super didn't bounce onto Zulan. Um, it must have just been out of range. But uh, yeah, Bobby's going to get a stun. But there's going to be no value on it because he just goes down. 
So, uh, yeah, you can see I'm just going to stun so I do get a hit there. Uh, I know they're going to score, but otherwise I don't get a hit. And I don't want a repeat of last game to happen. Like, I'd rather just use a stun and get my super earlier. So I think I'm one shot to it now. Um, unfortunately, though, Bobby is going to get taken out. He gets pinched out pretty hard. And, uh, yeah, so I get a nice super. But, you know, if Tyrant goes down there, I can chain it. And I think I can just team wipe. But uh, he did live on like 500 HP, so a little unfortunate. And, you know, I used my stun on the low like super there. Uh, obviously, you don't want to do that. I just thought I got onto like one of them because this all happens like very fast paced, you know? So, uh, yeah, we are going to lose Bobby there as well. And uh, his levy kind of overextends there. And. Yeah, but they've done a really good job just like we haven't been in the mid this entire game So if Tony had a gadget, I feel like he could score there But I think he used them all and Bobby's gonna miss his super against the wall. So uh, It's a little unfortunate Max is gonna go down and we're just falling apart pretty hard not gonna lie um, and Yeah, we definitely need to make something happen. There's 30 seconds left. We're getting spawn trapped really hard they have a very oppressive comp, like, I feel like Gale is very bad into their comp. And, uh, Izlevy is gonna take me out, but I do get my kick there, and I will get my super. Uh, unfortunately, Bobby's super does not land anyone against the wall again, so, uh, yeah, Bobby just kinda gives up. You know, I'm Fang, so I go for the super up, but, uh, uh, it's kinda chalked, <laughs> honestly. Like, we, I don't like our draft here in retrospect. Uh, I don't think we practiced enough, honestly. Alright guys, so uh, unfortunately we did lose the monthly finals. This was the semifinals actually, so uh, yeah, it kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. There's always next month, and uh, you know, I definitely think we can be more prepared and just play better together. Also have better drafts, and uh, yeah, you know, it sucks, but... We'll be back next month. Hopefully we can uh, get the dub for you guys then. Anyways, guys, appreciate you watching the video, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.